Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you guys how to prepare a cast iron wok for making cha kui tiao. Uh, this is a cast iron wok. You can. This is about seventeen inches. It's good for about maybe six to eight people. But uh, for cha kui tiao, you need a bigger area to work with, so you can push some of the things. The like the prawns to the side and stuff like that, right? Uh, it's not just for chakui tiao, you actually Chinese cooking uses a lot of uh, uh, a lot of Chinese cooking can actually use this this kind of wok. It's not too heavy, it's, it's a bit heavier than the carbon wok that I usually use um, but this is actually a staple in a lot of Chinese kitchens. So the first thing you notice that actually this wok is actually is very rough it's not finished very well. Uh, some people will actually use uh, uh, maybe some sandpaper or something to make this a bit smoother. But for me, I think this one, the one I got is quite smooth. But you can see that there's actually a lot of, uh, I think like maybe iron sh shavings or something, in, uh, which is pretty dirty. So if you wipe it, yeah, you can see it's, there's a lot of residue there. So the first thing you do is we are going to wash it with water without any detergent. Just water, I'll clean it up and then I'll show you the next step after that. Yeah, so we will just uh, wash this with water. You can use uh, this green gauze to clean off whatever residue there is as much as you can. We might have to repeat this uh, step a few times to get rid of all the, the iron residue. So as you can see, the wok is grey now, but by the time you have finished with it, it should turn black after it's fully seasoned. Okay, that should do it. And we heat it up now. Okay, so the next step is here. Uh, I'm going to heat it up. You see, you can see the water evaporating pretty quickly as soon as I turn on the fire at the bottom. And it's going to dry up all the uh, the water we are washing it with just now. You can, quite, you can quite kind of see the texture. There's a metallic smell coming out from the, from the wok. And Later, we're going to add the the lard to coat it with the first coat of uh, oil. Let, oh, let's let, wait till all the water uh, evaporates and the wok is hot enough first. Okay, so the pan is pretty dry now. It's back to its grey colour. And it's really, really hot right now. I haven't turned off the heat. And I'm going to use some pork lard. Which I got from the... Uh, from the butcher, he actually gave this to me for free. It's just the residue that uh, no one really eats. And you're supposed to move it around the wok. If it's smoking too much, then maybe you want to reduce the fire a little bit. But the idea is to uh, cover the entire surface of the wok with, uh, with the oil. So you can actually see, I don't know if it. <laughs> it's getting very brown and there's uh, oil coming out. So you want to move this around the whole pan. So I'm going to do it and uh, coat the entire pan with the lard. Okay, at this point, uh, I've uh, covered the entire surface now. Um, I've turned off the heat. I'm going to let it cool down again and then repeat this again with uh, with more uh, pork lard. Uh, as you can see actually you can see that the oil is actually quite dirty it's actually a, a mixture of some of the, the iron residue from the wong itself so this needs this needs to be removed completely uh, we will just uh, wash it away with uh, cold water after I remove the oil and then I'll repeat the process with uh, another batch of lard. Okay, so we're going to clean this off, just rinse off the excess oil with uh, cold water and uh, you can use a brush 
take out all any of the uh, residue and we are going to repeat this do not put any soap huh? you're not supposed to use soap on this uh, this wok okay so it's round two uh, it's back on the heat again so we just want to Whole walk, make sure the whole surface is dry and we will repeat with uh, more lard. And the same thing, you can, you can lower the heat, it doesn't have to be that hot, it was not burn too quickly. I'm adjusting the heat now and then again. Just use a pair of metal tongs. It gets very hot, so just be careful of your hand and uh, go over the whole surface one more time. So, if your flame isn't big enough, you can actually kind of uh, tilt the, the walk around. So, you try to get the heat up to the edges of the walk as well. and. Uh, let it, let it season there for about maybe 15 20 minutes until we and then we will go to the next step okay so it's been uh, on the fire flame for about 15 minutes i've turned off the flame and i'm just gonna leave the oil and everything on this wok here uh some people say you can do it overnight maybe a few hours would be good enough uh, so I'm going to try to leave it till maybe in the evening after about four to six hours and then uh, we'll go to the next step which is uh, uh, continuing the seasoning with uh, uh, using uh, Chinese chives uh, and we'll just fry it out in a pan and then after you wash it again and then it'll be ready to use. Okay, the next, uh, it's been about five hours since uh, my last uh, step and then now I'm just going to Add some uh, Chinese chives, the ends of it, which uh, usually we don't use, and this is just to make it more fragrant. I'm not sure if it really, really helps a lot, but uh, I've seen it. I've seen this being done on most uh, seasoning instructions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and and do it as well so it's pretty hot it, it smells really good actually the chives are giving a very nice aroma to, to the oil it's also soaking up uh, the excess oil and this will be the final step uh, of the seasoning process after this I'm going to give it another rinse and a brush and remove it and then I'm going to try frying an egg in the pan to see if it's really uh, non-stick and after that we can start uh, cooking with this wok okay so you can see I haven't washed it yet this is the wok after I've removed the, the chives and the chives have already absorbed most of the, the oil out now I'm going to add a bowl of water And bring it to to a boil and then I'm going to rinse it and after that I'm going to uh, then after that I'm going to try and see how non-stick the wok really is so this is going to boil for a few minutes okay so we're going to do the final cleaning one more time Really give it a good brush and try to remove all if there's any of the uh, iron residue left. And after this, we will do the egg test to see if it's really um, uh, non stick. Okay, so hot wok, cold oil.
Yeah, it looks pretty good. The egg is left easily from the bottom of the wok. That's a very nice uh, crust for the bottom. And there. So tight. Tight egg. How's the egg, Isaac? Right. You good. like it? Good? Mm -hmm. Thumbs up? Good? Like that? Good. <laughs> good job. Uh, so I just want to show you the the uh, difference between a... This is a cast iron uh, wok I'm going to use for cha kui tiao later on. And it's, you can see that the it's a bit thicker. I think about one, one and a half mm thick. And this one is what I always used to use uh, previously cooking for stir fries. Uh, this is my uh, carbon steel wok, which I also have another video uh, on on how to uh, to season it. It's it's pretty much quite similar in, in, in a few few things, but um, I think this one took a little longer because it's of the thickness, and also I let the uh, oil uh, soak for a while. So you can see it's. It's quite. It's non-stick now. I fried the egg, and there's not really nothing left stuck to the bottom. So, hopefully, the next video I'll fry the chakwe tail and see, get some reviews on how it tastes like. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.